Hey everyone, it's Neil here from Post to Post. Thanks for joining me today. Hope you're having a great day. We're going to look at some practice facility photos for the Seattle Kraken. I do not have a jersey. I got this shirt. I got this hat. Unfortunately, the jerseys have not come in yet. I was really crossing my fingers that maybe the Seattle Kraken would, you know, sneak a jersey into my mailbox, kind of like they did that, you know, that welcome package. I guess it was about a year ago that they did that, but unfortunately that did not happen. But I do have the jerseys on the way. They are coming hand-stitched both home and away. So if you want to see me unbox them, look at them in 4K, high detail. It's going to be fun to unbox those. So please hit the subscribe button if you're new, if you want to see that. But in this video, like I said, we're looking at some practice facility photos that they released recently. These are high quality photos and let's go through them. I think there's eight total. Yes, there's eight total. So let's bring them up. We're going to start off with... Well, it's the inside. I don't have a picture of the outside, but I've got a picture of the inside and it looks it looks incredibly modern. So the reason I'm doing this is because, backstory, I've ranked the practice facilities in the NHL. I have ranked the, the locker rooms, the dressing rooms in the NHL. And there's no sense of really redoing those videos just because Seattle's here. So I kind of wanted to inject this video, include the practice facility photos, include the locker room photos, and really just talk about them without having to redo those previous two videos. So that's the reason for this video, basically. And also, I'm really excited to see this stuff. So there's a lot going on here. There's striping coming along the, the back wall up, up above with, with their accent colors, which is awesome. You can also see that again down below along the left behind the glass. Uh, they've got both American and Canadian flags up there, which is amazing. They're very close to the Canadian border, which which is, is very nice to see. And I love the ceiling. That seems like a ridiculous thing to, to say, but the, the fact that it's white and it just acts as like a big soft box and a big bounce sheet of light. And just, you know, it's just so clean. It bounces all the light down. It lights everything up without actually being a light itself, even though there's lights up there. And it just, everything just looks so unbelievably clean in here. So new. And it is, I mean, it's literally brand new. So uh, it would be odd if it was, <laughs> if it was dirty. The, the ice looks awesome. I'm, I'm really, I'm really surprised to see so many sponsorships on, on the boards for a practice facility. I don't remember if that was a thing for other NHL teams in those previous videos that I did or previous video, the ranking video, but I'll have to go back and look, but, but there's a lot of ads on the, on the boards here. Let's go on to the next photo. Okay. So this one that they released, it was, I mean, this is basically their, their utility kind of room where they get the skates ready. They fix the skates, they sharpen the skates. Maybe they're, they're sewing some jerseys and they're doing all kinds of stuff. This is kind of the, the utility room. So I like to see the stuff, the behind the scenes, Rooms that we never get to see as, as fans. So I'm not, it's, it was really nice that they released this one. Next up is, the, I would assume that this is kind of the review room where all the team members get together either before or after practice, look at the previous game's plays. Hey, this is what we did right. This is what we did wrong. We worked on this drill today in practice and here's the theory behind it or here's the drill we're going to do in practice. Here's You're going to go here. You're going to go here. This is how it's going to work. Let's go do it kind of thing. And this room is awesome. Look at the water in the background and then the giant logo with just the eye piercing through the back. Very cool. I like that a lot. Next is, I assume, the walkway out to the ice, out to the arena. And it is amazing. Lots of places for sticks, but that logo backlit on the wall there, it looks, it looks so good. Can you imagine having that in your house, that size, just up on the wall randomly? It would look amazing. Next is the teaser for the locker room. So if you remember that that ranking video that I did of the locker rooms, one thing I talked a lot about was the ceilings and and how amazing it was that teams put their logo giant on the ceiling and backlit it or lit it in general. And I just thought it looked so good. And Seattle has knocked it out of the park here in their practice facility. A big giant TV screen. Look at that TV. I don't know if that's two or one. I can't, I can't really tell. It might be two actually uh, put together, but that is amazing to see there as well. And it's lit so nicely just with those kind of panel lights going up. And uh, this was a this was a nice teaser. So let's move on to the next one, which is, hey, it's not the full locker room, but it's the majority of one wall, and it is clean. Look how big that logo actually is. It gives you a, a real sense of perspective from this viewpoint, and it's massive and it's it's great. Now let's move on to the next one, which is the piece of la resistance. It is the main photo. It is the bread and butter of this entire video. This is amazing. I love this locker room. It is fantastic. There's lots of room. There's carpet to walk on. There's lots of lights. Uh, there's lights within the their own like lockers shining down the jerseys. We'll look at that in a second. And then the logo obviously again looks amazing on the ceiling. It it couldn't be better. I don't think unless you made unless you made the floor an actual fish tank underneath, and there was a weird like 
squids and, and weird you know sea creatures down there that you were not walking on but you know you could see down below that would be a little that's a little extreme but uh, I think that's the only thing I can think of that would make this room better let's move on to the final photo this is an awesome photo it is the zoomed photo of kind of each person's little kit each person's little section and you get to see those lights that I was talking about in behind the backlit down on the jersey just a little subtle touch like that I think is is pretty cool got the hooks there for the skates uh, padding for the seats there's even a little cup holder if you see in between the, the two seats so this is awesome um, I'm really happy that they released these photos I don't know if they actually released the you know the their arenas actual home uh, locker room home dressing room I don't know if photos of that has been released yet but it once it is, I do a video like this. We'll review it, some photos, because that arena is brand new as well. So we got we got to look at that. We got to look at that facility as well and kind of break down all the photos and talk about them and uh, and review them. So if they if they are released, I'll I'll have that video for you soon. If not, we'll wait a little bit until those photos are released and kind of do that video. So thanks for watching me, guys. I appreciate it. If you are going to watch lots of Seattle Kraken or if you're just interested in the Seattle Kraken or hockey in general and you're new, please hit the subscribe button. I'm going to be talking lots of Seattle Kraken this year for the upcoming season. We're going to be unboxing the jerseys, like I said, at the beginning of the video very soon on the channel, probably within the next week or so. And uh, yeah, lots of Seattle Kraken talk. So have a great day. Thanks for joining me. And I'll talk to you very soon. Adios.